Hey guys, good morning! I'm assuming by my lovely attire you have guessed already I am filming a Spend Saturday video today. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And let's get started! <music> Alright guys, so I actually have quite a bit of things to do today. You guys know when I do my spend Saturdays, I try to film them, um, you know, and get a lot of things done for you so it's not just a boring video. I always have so much to do. Um, I said in my last one, I have a massive list of things that I need to do like everyone else and I'm slowly chipping away at it. It just seems that as I slowly chip away at the items on the list, new items go on the list so I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere <laughs> but such is adulting life right that's just the way it is so I've got my planner let me just say um okay so I'm in my bedroom because I actually brought my stuff up with me last night my planner and everything now you guys know that I normally put stickers and stuff in my planner you guys I didn't do any stickers this week <laughs> and my planner like I am just looking at it and it's just ugly and there's no color, there's no stickers. I just kind of chicken scratched notes in here of what I have to do. I'm okay with it. It's not driving me too crazy. I might even go next week without it. I just, I think we'll take the time to write more neatly because writing in chicken scratch is driving me crazy. <laughs> So, okay, um, a couple of things actually that I wanted to show you before I go over what I am planning to do today. So you guys know I am not a huge skincare makeup person at all, um, but being that I'm turning 40 next month, actually in like two weeks, I will be turning 40, um, I've definitely been noticing, you know, a few little wrinkles here and there, and so I've been kind of reaching out to people to see, um, like I posted on my Instagram to see what people are using for like say a night cream and things like that. So my normal skincare routine has been my same skincare routine <laughs> since I was 16 years old. <laughs> and it is proactive. So I've been using the proactive solution since I was 16. And I just use the three step system, the original one that came out. Honestly, you guys, I've never even looked into what other products they have. I know when they like send me my package every, um, I think I get mine every two months now. Um, there's like usually a pamphlet or sometimes there's a pamphlet with probably other products. I don't even look at it. I just throw it out. So I use their cleanser and then their toner. And then I forget what the little one is called, but it's basically like the cream that you put on or whatever the serum, I guess it would be. And that is all I have done. I have never even put a moisturizer on my face. <laughs> So I've been really lucky, I guess. Um, now I will say when I was younger, the reason I started with proactive is because I did have, you know, some acne. Um, but I started taking birth control pills and it helped my acne. I ended up going to a dermatologist at some point in my life when I was maybe in my twenties because I had gone off of birth control and I in like within two months I had what I considered, I called it a zit beard. It was just so bad. It was definitely the like hormonal, deep, hurty acne. Um, so I went back on the pill and then um, I tried again like a couple of years later and the same thing happened. So that's when I ended up going to a dermatologist and she basically said that it's hormonal acne. There's really nothing you can do topically to help it. Um, and that the only options would be birth control or Accutane. And I was not about to do Accutane um, because for me, I just didn't want to. It's a very harsh um, medication. There are so many rules to being on it. I have several clients who are on it and it's doing wonders for them. But for me, if I could just go back on birth control and use that as a method, that's a thumbs up for me. So I just went back on birth control. Um, the birth control that I have was on my, my whole, you know, birth control life was Marvlon. Um, I did the 21 pack. I never had any issues like weight gain or, um, you know, some people get really moody or 
I don't know, have a lot of things like that. I, I, to me, it was like the, the best birth control. Um, but I'm, I'm not on birth control anymore. So I have noticed that I have gotten a few of those little, you know, um, I've gotten a few pimples in my lower area and they definitely are like a more hurdy deep one. So of course I'm like freaking out, please let my hormones not freak out on me and um, have this acne happen. But Needless to say, I still use the proactive, even though the doctor said topically, um, because I have hormonal acne, it's not going to do anything. It's just been my routine since I was 16. And when I was younger, I had acne all over my face. So that was why I started with the proactive. And I actually really like the product. So when I posted on Instagram, I got so many people um, telling me tons and tons of different products. Um, and I actually had a, well, she's a family member. She's a juvenile like me. So she reached out to me and she actually told me that her and her mom have just been using Olay and they look great. So I went and got the Olay Total Effects 7-in-1 Night Cream. That was the one she recommended. She also recommended a day cream that has like um, a tint in it, but I haven't been using that. I just wanted to start with this and kind of see what this does for me. And then, you know, once if, if this is good, because I wasn't sure if I would have a reaction and I didn't want to be doing too many things on my face at once that were new. And then if I had a reaction, I wouldn't know what it was from. So I've been using this now for a couple of weeks, just at night. I rub it in my face. I actually originally was putting it on my chin and my like lower jowl area here, but then I like had a pimple and I didn't know if it was because of this. So for the last week, I have not been putting any of it on my lower area here. I've just been rubbing it in here and my cheeks. And then I've also been doing my neck and my chest and just really rubbing that. One of the things that a lot of people recommend was, I'm going to say this totally incorrectly, a goa sha. I think it's called G-U-A-S-H-A. It's those sort of kind of heart shaped um, pink things that you like scrape. It looks like you're like scraping your skin. A lot of people recommended those. Some people also recommended the rollers, but I spoke to one of my girlfriends who is an esthetician and she said the rollers are really kind of more of a gimmick, but that the Goa Sha or whatever it's called, it really does work. So I might consider getting one of those, but again, I didn't want to do too many things at once because I really wouldn't know what was working. So I really, really like this. Um, sorry if you guys can hear crazy sounds. It's just my cat. I think she found one of her little balls and she's just running around right now. Um, so I really like this Olay um, Total Effects 7-in-1 cream. It smells really nice. It is, like I would say, very greasy, um, but it's a night cream so it doesn't bother me because I don't care if I look oily or greasy or anything like that. Um, and I will say that my skin, like I, you know, I just woke up what, an hour ago, maybe, or half hour ago. Yeah, not even that long. Uh, 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> and my skin feels really nice. Like it just feels really soft and moisturized. So I'm going to use this until it's gone, basically. And then if I feel like, you know, I'm, I want to also now integrate some type of a day cream, I will. Um, but right now I'm really just liking this and then still using my proactive. So proactive, normally you're supposed to use it twice a day. I only use it in the morning. And then at night when I wash my face, I literally just wash my face, um, like with just a wet cloth. Like I actually don't use any soap or anything on my face. I just use a wet cloth and I just wash my face and get off all of like the nail dust and everything else that has accumulated throughout the day. And then I come upstairs and I put this on. So that's my night routine, one of my things at night that I do. The other thing that I've been using for quite some time now, I actually bought a, uh, this is my second one, and I also have one downstairs in my living room. Um, oh, it looks like the um, package is kind of coming apart a little bit. Um, this is Glossier. I think it's called Glossier. I don't know if it's French, but it's G-L-O-S-S-I-E-R. And this is the coconutbomb.com. So I... I think I had ordered like an Ipsy bag or something and this came in it in just a little teensy tube and I loved it so much. It smells like coconut oil, um, which I am all for. So that is nice. And what I noticed on it is it actually said it's a universal skin salve. So I was like, mm, what does that mean? So I used it for a little while, just that little tube. 
and it's so thick is what I like. So at night when I put it on, when I wake up in the morning, um, it's still there. I have used, what's the face, um, the lip mask in a pink jar. Oh my goodness. Cause so many people recommended that to me. You guys know, I've mentioned before, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a lot of scarring on my lips from, um, some really bad cold source that I got when I was younger. And a couple of the scars are actually like more scar tissue. They're not just discoloration. They're actually raised. And so sometimes if I don't drink enough water or it's just dry out, which where I live is dry, um, it actually gets like dry and then I bite it. So which is making the scars worse. So I have been on the hunt forever. Um, I've tried so many lip balms, lip mask, lip repairers, all kinds of things. Um, and I honestly, nothing's really worked amazing for me, but I love this. Oh, I'm trying to think of what is that lip mask. Let me just Google it because it is going to drive me crazy if I don't find it. Okay, so it is called the Laneige or Laneige or however you say it. It's in the little pink jar. Um, like I said, everybody recommended that to me, so I tried that. I, I did like it. I, I wouldn't say I didn't like it, but I noticed that I don't know if I lick my lips a lot in the middle of the night or what I'm doing, but when I would get up in the morning, I, I definitely wouldn't feel that it was still really there. It almost seemed like it rubbed off or I ate it off or whatever, and I didn't love the texture of it. It was kind of sticky, I would say. It, yeah, I didn't love the texture, but I used that whole jar. And then, like I said, I got a little sample of this one. I love this. I love how it feels. I love how it smells. I woke up this morning. It's still on there. Like it's still on there. I don't know if I get close enough and show you guys <laughs> how shiny it is. It's still on there. So, um, I'll also show you guys. So I have a scar here, which is not raised. It's just discolored, but here, this is one that's raised. And then here I have one that's raised as well. And I have a little bit here. Now this is a different scar from a whole nother story that maybe I'll tell you guys one day. It's actually kind of a funny, not funny incident. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. Um, but the majority of the scarring is on the bottom. I do have a little bit here as well. Um, that is a little bit textured, but that one you can't see at all. Like it, it didn't come above my lip line. So these ones, they kind of come below my lip line. So they, they just drive me crazy. That's a train honking outside. Um, yeah. So anyways, back to Glossier. So I love this stuff. Now you can get, this one is the universal salve. It actually says on the back, it says use on lips, on cuticles, on eyebrows, and on your friends anywhere that needs some love. So I only use it on my lips. I don't use it anywhere else. But when I went onto their website to order more and I ordered this tube and the other tube, I apologize for that annoying train in the background. Um, they have some that are clear and then I think there's like a mint one and stuff like that. And then they have tinted ones as well. I've just stuck with this one because I like this one. Um, I don't need it to be tinted. I don't take this out anywhere with me. So I have one in my living room so that if I'm downstairs and I just, you know, need some gloss or whatever, I put that on. Um, but I don't use them as like a makeup product. I do put this on before I put any kind of lipstick or anything else on. I just always do because I just love it so much. And the scent is so like soft and it's just, it's really nice stuff. And I could totally see like like it says eyebrows again, you guys, I'm not a makeup person, but I know a lot of people will put like an eyebrow gel or something on like this might be good. Or I actually get dry eyebrows, which is so weird. So maybe, yeah, maybe I could use this on my eyebrows one night. Like, well, I'm putting it on my lips. I might just do a little whatever the, you know, thing <laughs> and see how that goes. So that's the two things I just wanted to show you because, um, being that I'm up in my bedroom and there are a couple of items that I really, really, really like. Um, and I'm very honest about things that I like and don't like. I wanted to share those with you. Okay. So let's get into the list of things I'm going to do today. So you can decide if you want to continue watching because I've already just spent 20 minutes with you. <laughs> You're welcome. So I have to do some filming today. First thing I have to do is, um, post on my Instagram, the winner for the glitter mix of the month for May. You guys, this is my most favorite glitter mix. I will insert a photo or a video here of it because, oh my God, 
gosh. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to do it. I give away a custom glitter mix every month. I usually take five different glitters that I own. I have like 700 glitters. So I take five of them. I mix up a custom mix for that month and I just give it away on my Instagram. It's just a little giveaway. I originally had it only open to the U.S. and Canada just for shipping purposes, but I've now opened it worldwide because I am able to just send it in an envelope, and I'm sure it's not going to cost. I mean, I think it cost me like a dollar twenty to send it within Canada and the U.S. So even if it's five bucks to send it to Uganda or I don't know wherever else, um, not a big deal. But this is my absolute favorite one. First of all, it's pink. Of course, I did it for my birthday month. Um, but it's, I wasn't sure when I was mixing it if it was going to like turn out because I just wasn't sure. And it's amazing. So I have to film, um, you know, just film that for my Instagram story and pick a winner. So we'll see who gets to win the glitter mix for May. Um, I also have to um, film my, I'm doing a collaboration with Sharin for my birthday. So we're doing, um, the theme is pink birthday nails, of course. So I already have an idea in my head of what I want to do. Um, so I've got to film that. And then I've got to take off these press-ons, you guys. <laughs> they have been on for three weeks. Now, I'm not a picker, so they're fine. Yes, they're a little bit annoying. Oh my gosh, there's another train, you guys. Um, but let me just tell you, yeah, like they're, they're like lifting. This one is, is it that one? I think it's that one. I mean, they're all lifting. They're not lifting though, like they're not moving. I can just see that there's like separation, but none of them have popped or anything. Um, I did chip this one last week. I took the tip off of this one and this one I filed with my e-file. I know it's not really focusing, but I filed it with my e-file. <laughs> So it's a little wonky, um, but this video will be a little shorter because I know what sizes I'm going to use. I basically am just going to soak these off. I'm going to film whatever design I'm making on the new ones and I'm going to stick them back on. And let me tell you, these ones will be a true test because I am going to be doing some yard work um, tomorrow, which, um, brings me to my next item on the list of things I have to do today. I need to go to Home Depot and get some concrete paint, um, because I have bought a bunch of cindercrete blocks and I am going to take out the current edging that is on my front flower bed, which is just ugly and gnarly. It's been there since I bought the house. So I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to re-edge it with my, um, cindercrete blocks, but I wanted to paint them. So inside of the cindercrete blocks, if you know what a cindercrete block looks like, I'll post a photo here if you don't, it's got two holes in it, right? Like they're square holes. And in the holes, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put flowers in every hole, or I was thinking I would do a flower and then um, a UV, what are they called? A UV light? Not a UV light, girl. It's not nails. Solar light. <laughs> so a, a flower and then a solar light and then a flower and then a solar light. Um, I don't want to do too many flowers because I am the worst. I am a flower murderer. Absolutely. I have tried so hard to do well with flowers. I do not have a green thumb. And I sort of think also that it's not just me. It's not just a gen problem because I have had, I've said this in another video that I've had my cousin and my mom both help me pick flowers, plant them, make sure I'm watering them and they still die. So I don't know. And I've done them in pots and in the ground. So I don't know. So I don't want to do too many flowers because I don't want them to all die. Um, so that's anyways, what I think I'm going to do. So what I'm saying is, but the press ons is I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, I think. Um, so I'm hoping that the new press ons, they can stand up to some gardening. I of course will be wearing gloves. I always wear gloves. Um, but yeah, I was going to do the gardening before I do the press ons, but you guys, these are just, they need to go. It's been three weeks. They probably would hang on for four. Honestly, I'm very impressed. And I did these ones with glue. So I also have to do that. Go to Home Depot, get some paint. Um, but before that, before I leave the nail room, I'm also going to finally organize my stamping plates into those pink books that I purchased like 
eight months ago. I don't even know. They're just still sitting in a box. And I also want to organize my decals because I recently um, finally got, I had ordered these little books. I actually think Talia showed a book also that was similar. I don't, I don't think hers is the same ones as I got. I purchased mine from AliExpress um, a long time ago. They just took forever. Some things come really quick from AliExpress and then other things not so much. So I finally got them. It's been probably like two months. So I'm going to also organize my decals in those books. i am only bought two um, because they had pink and teal or mint. And I wanted to see what the actual colors, hello Mika, what the actual colors were first before I ordered more if I needed more and make sure that they were right. And they are perfect colors for my nail room. So I've got those. So I'm going to be doing those. Um, I obviously need to go do my groceries like usual. Oh my gosh, cat. What is happening? She's in crazy cat mode. Um, I'm just looking at my list of things here. Oh, also I, Oh Lord Jesus. I don't know what is happening. She is going crazy right now. So, um, I also decorate my front porch. I mentioned that in my last video, I still have not put my decorations out because the weather was so unpredictable. Um, and to be honest, if it gets a little snow and rain on it, it's not a big deal. But like the one day you guys, we got like six inches of snow or something one day in April, it was ridiculous. So I think we're going to be okay now. So I also want to get out and put my decorations on my front porch today. Um, because then tomorrow I'd like to do the edging in my front yard. So it's a lot. You guys know I try to bust out as much of my list as possible. Sometimes I don't get it all done. Usually I do, but sometimes there might be like one straggling item that I'm I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. I, I'm calling it a day. So we'll see if I get it all done. Um, there's just a lot to do. I have still lots on this list that I will be doing tomorrow as well. Um, but I think that is it. So... Okay, you guys, it's time to drag my butt. It's way later than normal. Like, you guys know I'm usually filming at, like, 5 in the morning saying my good morning to you guys, but it's 7.30, which is late for me, <laughs> which is late. And I need to feed my cat. Like, I don't know what's happening with her. She, maybe that's why she's like, girl, I'm hungry. So I'm going to, um, yeah, take you guys downstairs. I'm just going to take you with me. I've got to, like, do some dishes. I did not do my dishes last night. Feed the cat. Um, oh, I also have to work out. That was... I have to freaking work out still this morning. <laughs> so I've got to do that as well before I do anything else. I'm going to actually work out this morning and do um, my step aerobics, I guess you would call it. It's hip hop step. Um, I will link below the videos on the guy that I follow on YouTube. I love his videos. Um, I love the music. So I'm just going to do a quick half an hour one. Nothing too crazy today because I just have so much stuff to do and I want to get going while I have the energy. And uh, yeah, let's get this day started.
Okay guys, so I'm now going to do my workout video, but I wanted to share with you guys some leggings that I found on Amazon. I um, recently posted the one pair, I'll post a picture here showing you guys me wearing them, um, that I found and I really liked them. Now, the one thing that I will say about that pair is what I love is the thickness of them. They're definitely squat proof. You cannot see panty lines or underwear. Um, they are long enough for me. Like a lot of times when I buy workout leggings, they end up being like capris on me for some reason. And that's not the case with those ones. The only thing I don't love about them is that, oh, also another thing that I love about them is that they don't roll down. I purchased another pair recently that cost me 75 Canadian dollars and I had to pay um, $25 duty fee to bring them into Canada, which I wasn't prepared for. So, but they cost me a hundred dollars and they are amazing. They are a name brand like from Instagram. Um, I won't say that. Well, maybe I'll share them. I don't remember what it's called, but I can share them below with you guys. Um, or I'll post a picture here of them. Um, or the brand the the thing that I don't love about those ones is that they roll down So they're almost like Spanx if you've ever worn Spanx and the minute you go to like bend over or sit down the whole Freaking top just like rolls right down um, But what I loved about those ones again was the length and they didn't fall down while I was working out These ones on the other hand don't roll down again. The length is good but they do kind of fall down as I'm working out. So I do find myself kind of hiking them up, but they don't roll, which is nice. So I love them so much because these ones only cost me $31 Canadian, no duty fee, nothing. They came the next day. Um, the other ones, you know, took a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks to come in the mail. So I ordered two more pairs. <laughs> So I'll try them on for you guys and show you. So I got this gray pair. Um, the first pair, again, I showed you the picture here. There is a, a, like a camo um, pattern. This one is a gray and black pattern. I think it like has sort of like a bum shape to it. Like the bum is gray. And then of course, you guys know, I had to order a pink pair. And I think these are called the dot pattern because they have like little dots on them. So I'll try these both on um, and show you guys what they look like. And then um, I'll end up wearing one for my step class that I'm going to do okay guys so this is the one pair the black and the gray they fit really really nicely they're super high-waisted I purchased um, the extra large so I'll just show you from the back they fit really nicely they're they're long enough which I love you guys have no idea I don't know why it's so hard for me I'm not that tall I'm only 5'8 but it is so hard for me to find leggings that don't just like creep all the way up. Now, one other thing that I did not like about the um, the more expensive pair was that it gave me camel toe. <laughs> Guys, I have never had camel toe in anything and these do not do that. So I also will give these ones a thumbs up on that because I don't have that issue. Uh, but the other ones, like, majorly gave me camel toe. I called my boyfriend, video chatted him one morning while I was like doing dishes after I had worked out and I had the other ones on. <laughs> and he was like, whoa, cause he could see like the whole view. He was, he was like, whoa, babe, what's, what's that? <laughs> I was like, what's what? He's like, uh, what's going on down there? I was like, oh my gosh, yes. These totally gave me, I mean, he, he loved it. Cause like, let's be real men are perverts, but <laughs> he loved it. But yeah. I can't go out in public with those. These ones, I could. So these are the black and gray. Um, I have the camo ones, and now I'm going to try on the pink ones for you. Um, I think I said it, but I'm wearing an extra large. I don't know that I, I mean, in the waist, this is a problem that I have with every pair of pants that I wear. I probably could use a large in the waist, but I don't think a large would fit me in the bum. So I have not tried a large, um, maybe once I lose a little more weight, I would try to order a pair of large ones and see. Um, but for me, I'm 5'8". Currently I'm 187 pounds. So if that helps you guys at all, and I'm, I'm very curvy. So I definitely have like a thinner waist. I think my waist is 32 inches. Um, I don't know what my hips and my butt are, but they're, they're big. So yeah. I'll try on the pink okay, ones Okay, you guys, so the pink ones actually fit snugger in the waist, which I like. Again, I got an extra large. I found when I put them on, they're actually even more stretchy. I would say the camo ones and the black and gray, sorry, my hair is just starting to fall out. 
Um, the camo and the black and gray are definitely less stretchy. They're still stretchy, but these are more spandexy, which I love because I feel like you can have way more bendage. But I'm curious to see if the top is going to like roll down and be annoying while I'm working. So far, it seems to be staying up. I might immediately grab a black pair of these. I will say, I can turn around for you, I will say like I have dark panties on. You can actually see them a little bit more through these ones. They're a little, um, you know, thinner, but the material is a little thinner. I would say these are actually closer to the $75 ones that I purchased in fabric. I really like these. I'm gonna wear these ones to work out. And like I said, in the waist, they definitely feel a little tighter than the other ones. So um, yeah, like oh, I love these ones, you guys. I will link them below for you because if I had to choose my favorite pair out of all three, I would choose this. I don't remember what colors they all had in these ones, but I'm gonna go back and see if they have gray. The other thing is they're even longer. I don't know if you can tell if I back up far enough, but they are even a little bit longer, just a smidgen, like maybe a half an inch longer than the other ones. Like these ones actually go right down to the bottom, like to my ankles, not above at all. So I'm gonna wear these while I work out and let you guys know how I feel about them. I'm just like taking a peek at the good old hoo-ha. I um, don't think I have cattle toe, <laughs> so that's a good thing. I'm assuming the other ones do that because they are really, really thin material, um, which gives them that stretch and sort of that pantyhose feel to them. I'm assuming that's why that happens in that area, but um, these ones, I don't think so. Like, I legit am going to go on my phone right now and purchase the, a black pair. <laughs> Okay guys, so super out of breath, but so far they're falling down very, very minimally and they're not rolling. Like if they do, it's, I don't know if you can see if I bend over, it doesn't really roll down. So thumbs up. Ooh, guys. Okay guys. So that's only like a half hour. Um, there is a full video. I think it's like maybe 45 minutes or 50 minutes. Um, but I just wanted to do the half hour. It's already after nine. Um, usually I'm filming my YouTube stuff at six in the morning. So I'm already like three hours behind with my filming. So today is going to be a longer day than normal. Um, so yeah, just to recap these pants, really, really like them. I'm definitely glad that I purchased the gray pair this morning. Um, the other ones, they're good too. I like them as well. And I think now that I have basically five pairs, I had a bunch of other pairs as well from like various places that I just, they were falling down so freaking bad. These were not falling down that much. I think I just have a habit of pulling them up. Um, these are definitely a must have you guys, if you haven't purchased these leggings, definitely do so. I will link them below for you. Um, again, I'm wearing extra large. So I'm now going to go shower and get ready. I'm not going to film getting ready um, because I filmed getting ready last time. I'll save you guys the pain of watching me do my hair and makeup very unprofessionally. <laughs> um, and I'll get ready. And then I'm going to do my glitter mix of the month. Um, winner, choose the winner. And then I'm going to start filming. I'm going to start with my press ons. So hang in there guys. This is going to be a very long video. I know usually my spend Saturdays are usually about an hour. 
I feel like this one's probably going to be longer than that. So, um, settle in. All right, guys. So I am finally ready. Um, I'm going to go upstairs now. Um, I just spent also like an hour and a half on Instagram posting about the leggings and stuff. So I'm way behind now. It is like 11 30 or 10 30 I don't even know um and I'm just going to be starting to film so I still have to go up and the first thing I'm going to do is my glitter mix of the month I'm going to post the winner and then I'm going to get to filming my um press-ons you guys I can't wait to get outside it is so nice out I hate being stuck in the house <laughs> it's nice um so you're gonna see a mess in my back porch I am cleaning bedding right now but just ignore that sheets and all the things and a bunch of stuff I have to take outside <laughs> this is all my stuff that's going to go um, onto my front porch it's been sitting back here for like a month more than a month and FYI who else's cat is just a messy little turd like I don't know she's such a diva but she is such a messy eater <laughs> okay so let's head up into the nail room and see what do we got going on in here? All right, so I have to film my glitter mix of the month. So I always do that on my desk. And then I'm going to put away my client files, get that done, and then I'm going to set up for filming. So yeah. in individual um, envelopes and then I just have these shoe boxes I got them many many years ago at Michael's they're I think shoe boxes I don't know they're per they do fit shoes um, and I just have these um, dividers that I made so long ago with the alphabets and uh, yeah I'm just gonna put these ones away So now these are ready for next week. I'm going to put them in the closet um, for now because I need this for filming. And um, yeah, so let's do that. So basically I just have them on my rolling cart. So this is my cart with all of my props. I also have some old boxes from Ikea that have like extra glitters. They have my gift certificates, my little empty jars that I use for mixing acrylics. And then I also put these just on top here. So I'm going to pull out um, some props as well. I think I think I'll just use my like because I'm wearing sort of peachy color. I'll just pull out some of my my peachy pinky kind of ones. I like this one. This one's really nice too. I've got that. These. And then I've got my other hydrangea, my regular hydrangeas. Oh, I've got this one too. Maybe I'll pull that one out. This is not like the best organization, but I used to have little clear vases that were about this big and this wide, and I had them all in here. And then I had the flowers sitting inside, but because of the height of my shelves in there, when I would push it away, they would kind of get bent or they would fall out and it was just kind of annoying. So I do actually find I like this better, although it it does look messy, but it's really not. It actually, um, except for like sometimes like the little, like that one, it's fallen off obviously of one of the stems. Where is that stem? It's off of one of these ones I'm guessing. Yeah, 
there's a little spot right here where it came off. So I just have to stick that. Oh, maybe that's not it. No, I don't know where. Oh, right here. So I just have to stick that back on. Maybe I'll use this color too because it kind of matches my top. I don't know if I have more than one of those. And the majority of my flowers, you guys, are definitely from um, Dollar Tree. Uh, I have some from Dollarama. I have some from Michaels, but the majority are definitely Dollar Tree finds. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these vases out as well. So these here, actually this is Easter stuff, so I can put this away. I need to put this stuff away. Um, So these clear vases are the ones that I was talking about that I originally had the flowers um, set in. So we can put this stuff away, actually. I have a bin under my bench. So I'm going to put this stuff away because it's Easter stuff. I don't need that. And I'll just put this back here and see what I have. I have a bunch of signs down here as well, all from the Dollar Tree. And I usually just kind of prop them up here, but I don't think any of these will really go. Let me see. These are summer ones. Easter, that can go away. Easter, that's a summer one. Well, you know what? I'll leave the signs. They really don't need to be put away necessarily. Yeah, that's fine. I'll leave them there. So yeah, there's nothing really for a sign that I, I wish I would have got a birthday sign because I'm filming my birthday nails today for my 40th and I wish I would have got something for the background, but honestly, I just wasn't thinking, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to put these away and I just shove these up, up top for now. So I'll flip you around and show you the bin that I have. Um, I wish I would have got two. <laughs> But unfortunately, they only had one. Okay, so I also need my Archon mount, which is right here because that's what I use to film my intros and my thumbnails. And if you're wondering, I don't know if you guys can see here, if you're wondering why I have my mortar, oopsies, my mortar here, is because the Archon mount will actually tip over um, when you have it like bent like this <laughs> with the arm like this. When you have it like that, my phone is really heavy because it's huge, so it'll tip over if I don't put that weight on the background. So I just have to switch out because I have my filming phone on there right now. So I'm going to put my other phone on there, keep filming, and then I will um, switch out so that I can see how the background looks. Okay, so I have a little door over here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it is like a creepy little cubby and there's a doorknob that I always have to try to cover. <laughs> so I am going to attempt to put just some more flowers in here. Fill that and put that right here so that can kind of cover. I'll move this thing out of the way just so it's not in the frame. I can still kind of see that doorknob. I just try to cover it if I can. And I'll move this a little bit maybe. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm going to film my intro and then my little like thumbnails. <laughs> Um, I'll do the thumbnail after because I'll have the new press-ons on so I won't do the thumbnail right now normally I kind of do it right away but I will do it after um, and yeah everything looks good everything's in frame so let's get to filming <laughs>
Hey guys, so I have finally finished filming my press-ons. Um, this is how they look. I, you know, I don't love them. You guys will see when you watch that video. I used a Color Club gel polish that I have had forever and never used. And it's just very shadowy. Eh, it's kind of hard to see. I don't love them, but you know what? It is what it is. So next I'm going to um, just change out the background colors a little bit because I'm going to be wearing a brighter pink top because I'm going to be filming my birthday nails. Okay guys, I have completely lost track of time, so it is five o'clock. I have not left my house, I have not eaten, I still wanted to do so many things today, but I, I just totally have been filming so much. I don't know why these two videos took so long to film, but they did, the press-ons did for sure. I'm over the press on situation for filming. I'm still gonna keep doing them because I do like that I can design them before I put them on. Um, so I might actually turn this into a spend the weekend with me <laughs> video. I really don't know because like I didn't get anything done. I still have to go for groceries. I still have to go get my Home Depot paint. I was supposed to paint my cinder creep blocks so that they were ready. I was supposed to decorate my front porch, <laughs> um, organize my stamping plates and my decals. I, this is the longest that I have been stuck in my house. So, um, I, I think I'm going to go out for groceries cause I need to do that. I want to stop at Home Depot and get that paint. Um, and then I might just, like I said, get up early in the morning and film some more stuff. Um, cause yeah, like I don't have a lot of footage for you guys because I don't want to just show you a bunch of footage of me filming YouTube videos, but that's pretty much what I've been doing all day. So I'm going to head out for groceries. I'm going to go to Home Depot. Um, I need to eat something. Usually you guys know that I'm usually done filming and I'm ready about three o'clock, four o'clock is like when I'm done. Six, I think was the latest I ever went filming. Um, but yeah, this has been a long day. So I will pick up tomorrow. I will come in here tomorrow morning. Um, I don't even want to clean anything. I've been, you know, keeping it pretty clean throughout while I'm working. Um, but I do have some things to put away. We'll see if I feel like doing that right now. Um, but I'm going to head out and get my groceries. <laughs> All right, guys, good morning. It is the next day. It is Sunday morning. So I did end up getting out yesterday finally to get my groceries and Home Depot to get my paint. Um, those were my really only two errands that I had to do. Um, I did need to go drop off the Glitter Mix of the Month package at the mailbox, but I hadn't got the address from the winner yet. So I'm going to do that today. Um, she finally sent me her address. Um, so today I want to get back up into the nail room immediately and I want to organize my stamping plates 
and I want to organize my decals because I need to know if I have to order another book or two. I don't know if there'll be enough room in that book for in those two little books for all of my decals. And then I want to paint my cinder creep blocks um, because next weekend I'm hoping I haven't even looked at my book, but I'm thinking it's next weekend when I'm actually going to be able to um, work on my front, um, what is it called, flower bed area and get that done. Um, but yeah, that was kind of all I did for the rest of the day. Um, my boyfriend ended up calling and we were chatting for a while and I got super tired, you guys. I ended up going into bed at eight o'clock. I was exhausted. I could not believe how long I was filming yesterday. So I wanted to also give you guys sort of like an update. Um, in my last um, spend Saturday with me. I showed you guys the Lust brand shampoo conditioner. Well, I didn't show you the shampoo and conditioner, but I used the shampoo conditioner and I showed you their curl cream, I guess it would be called. So I wanted to just show you like this is next day hair. I have not done anything. I literally just went to bed. I mean, it looks a little bit messy, you know, and kind of fuzzy or whatever. Um, but it does like still really hold the curls good. And I also... I don't remember what the other product was that I used, but I do put a little bit of this moussey stuff in as well. Um, if you want to check it out, you can check out the other video and I, I show you guys what it is or I'll find a photo and put it here for you guys as well. Um, so it's not crunchy. It's not hard. I do usually put a little bit of hairspray here because if I don't, my hair ends up just kind of like doing this <laughs> from the way that I blow dry it. So I kind of have to hairspray it sort of away from my face just so that it stays. Um, and I've been using the Moroccan oil or Moroccan whatever line um, hairspray. I really like it. But yeah, it stays pretty curly. I'm not going to lie. It's going up in a ponytail. Like I'm over having it down today will be a ponytail day because I have to go painting and stuff too in the garage. I have no makeup. Like I just cleaned my face and everything last night and woke up this morning, had a quick bath and I want to get this stuff going because I am not trying to have happen today what happened yesterday um, where everything just took so long. So without further ado, I'm going to take you upstairs and we're going to clean up because I haven't cleaned up yet <laughs> and organize my stamping plates and my decals. to share this with you guys I know I shared it with I don't know if it was on my Instagram story or in one of my highlights I actually have a really long heating pad on my floor here and I use it for clients feet if they're cold or for mine specifically in the winter and they absolutely love it the cover is removable so like I have to take it off right now and throw it in the wash I only wash it once a week I spray it during the week with Lysol just to kind of keep it clean but I love it the clients love it um, like I said, especially in the winter time, because if their feet are cold, usually their fingers are cold. And if you work with acrylic, then the acrylic sets slower and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So just a little tip for you. And then also, so these are the nails that I did yesterday. <laughs> My birthday nails, love them. So I have to take them off of the stick part here and then put them in my little case. That won't take very long. So... I need my tape, so I've got this here. I ordered some more of this. This is like the absolute perfect size. I had another one once um, that was way thicker and then I had to cut it, like I felt like it was too thick, um, too wide I should say this way. So I have that and then, you guys, this area over here, let me just move my sofa over. This is like still all my products that, Oh, you know what else I should do today is organize my rhinestones. Yes, I'm going to do that as well because I have had these containers forever and I have not organized my rhinestones. So let me, let me grab those as well. We are getting it done today, you guys. <laughs> I need to get so much of this stuff done. It's driving me crazy because I just keep getting more stuff and then not doing, working with the stuff that I've got and getting that stuff done. Okay. So in here are my little deco books. 
super cute. And this is just a box that I throw everything in. And over here, let's see. I've got some Madame Glam stuff that I need to do for you, video for you guys. I have some Apray stuff. Oh, and these are my books for my stamping plates. So yes, I have some alcohol inks from Apray. I have some alcohol inks from Madame Glam that I want to show you guys. I'm going to do them both in the same video. These are all those Born Pretty stamping polishes that I still have not tried. I have a ton of stuff in here. Um, get Buffed. They sent me nail art brushes I wanted to review for you. I have eBay nail art brushes in there. I have, I don't even know, so much stuff. Okay, so first things first, let me get this little doodad done. So I am going to, and this is just an extra one from my, um, I have a whole nother box over there that is, um, yeah, brand new and, because I'm trying to double side all of the ones in here, I don't know why I went in here. Uh, oh, scissors. <clears throat> I am double siding all of these ones so once this one is completely full then I will go in and start using the other one but for now I um yeah I'm just filling up this one so I've just got to take these off of here that will go back in its place now let's find a spot for these. We'll do it on the back of this one. So I just take my nail clippers and basically just clip off um, the handle. And then we will stick the tape down. Whoop. Stick the tape down and this one here and stick them onto the little white thing. Now, I told you guys this, um, I don't know if I actually showed you guys yesterday, <laughs> but these white um, plastic things actually have a plastic coating on them, which I did not know. Otherwise, I would have removed them from all of them, but I did not realize it. So you wanna make sure you take off that coating so that you have a nice, clean surface because some of them are kind of dingy and I just thought they were dirty. And I was, I, I wiped a lot of them down and got the dirt off of them. And then last week when I was actually doing like all of them, I just on accident, I don't even know how I came across it, but realized that the one, the one was like peeling a little bit on the corner, I think. And that's probably how I noticed it. And then I was like, oh my gosh, but it was too late by that time. I was not about to take all of the, all of them off. Try to re-stick them down after. No. They can just stay the way they are. But going forward, I am definitely making sure I take that little white plastic off of there. So I usually just go ahead and put this on right at the end. I go all the way to the end or pretty close to the end. Stick her down. Cut her off there. I rub it pretty good so it's nice and stuck. And then sometimes getting this little sticky part can be a pain. That one came off real easy. And then I just start in the middle. And I don't push them down right away. And then I these ones I like to angle around. If that makes sense. So I put the first one, I put the first one straight. I don't know if you guys can see, but I put the first one straight and then these ones I kind of angle in and around. I have my camera um, on my phone completely flipped around. It's not in selfie mode, so I cannot see because in selfie mode, I can't expand out for some reason. So you guys wouldn't get a great view of what I was doing. Oh, you guys, I love them. Hmm. These are probably one of my favorites that I've ever done. I love those balloons. And they just go in their little slot, like so. 
And voila, that's it. Okay, let's do my stamping plates. So I currently have some stamping plates. Oh, I don't even know how I want to do this, you guys, to be honest. Originally, I, of course, thought that I wanted to organize them, um, you know, in design. So, you know, like all the Christmas ones together, but it's, oh, I don't even know. It's going to be hard to do. So this book has all of the slots that are small. So they're the little small square slots. Um, there are openings on both. So the opening is on, wait, this is upside down. There we go. I believe the opening is, yeah, on the top, on both sides. Yes, except for the top one, does it have both sides? Yes, it does. And then there's a hole at the bottom so that you can kind of push it out, right? So that's this one. I'm just gonna kind of bend it open so it stays open. And then, ooh, this one is, wait a minute. Usually when you open things up, the at the top or the bottom? That's very weird. So this, I think this is the bottom actually. That seems very weird. I don't like that. Because if you think about it, usually when you open something, right, the top is where the zipper's closed. When you open it, it goes to the bottom, right? So this would mean that the zipper is opening upwards. That's gonna be very awkward for me, but I'll just have to go with it. And then these ones, they slide in the sides, I believe. These are the longer ones. And then what I also like is on both sides, they have slots for some of my like larger plates. So let's do the small ones first. I am going to go into um, my, oy. I'm going to go into my, um, what is that called? Display rack. Um, and I'm going to pull all of them out as well because I want to organize them all because if I organize not, if I don't organize the ones that are in the display rack, then when I go to put them away, they won't have a spot, right? So I want to put everything away and then whatever stamping plates I want to take out to put in my display rack, I might not even put them out right now because they've already been out. So I might just leave them in here and reach for them when I need to. So right now, itchy nose. Right now I have all of my stamping stuff in here. In this lovely little box. So here are all of my plates. And then I have the larger ones down here. And this is a little, my, my first purchased clear jelly stamper. <laughs> but I've never used it. <laughs> so uh, I haven't used it yet, but I do have the little backing for it. I also have one from Talia. It's a larger one that I've never used. Um, I've mentioned that a couple of times. So we're going to start with the small. Okay, one. guys. So I think what I'm going to do is organize them in um, shape <laughs> to start off with. No, not shape. Excuse me. Um, just style. So I'm going to see if I have any that are specific styles, like a Christmas one, for example, or um, Valentine's Day one or something like that. Um, and I'll get those ones organized first. And then the rest, honestly, I, I don't really know how I want to organize them. Like this one is a Christmas one. This is a Christmas one. So um, I'll definitely like make sure to do that and have those, you know, just be on their own, but the rest of them, I don't even know.
So yeah, once it gets full, I don't know that it's going to close very well right now. It still closes quite well. But once she gets full, ooh, and it's heavy. So now I feel like this one is going to get really thick because a lot of my stamping, well not a lot, several of my stamping plates have this kind of thicker white backing on them. So they do fit because I tested it when I got it. I was like, oh gosh, are they going to fit? But they are toit, real toit. <laughs> so keep that in mind. They are very tight. Like if, if I could remove them from this plastic, oh, you can. They might be kind of sticky. Let me just see. Yeah, they're super sticky. So if you wanted to, um, I am definitely not wanting to do that right now, but if you wanted to, you could take them off and just get some goo gone stuff and clean off the sticky residue and just have your little stamping plate. But uh, yeah, I'm not about that life right now. So we're just gonna get these in here. And hopefully I can get two. So that's really, really tight. Really, really tight. Um, ideally, it'd be great if I had, yeah, like this one's a skinny one, so I'll put that in there. broken oh guys look the page folded down when it um jeez louise Ooh, this one doesn't fit at all this back part, let me just take this off. I am bending it a little bit at this point, but. I'm gonna use some acetone and clean that off. Yeah, you don't even need Goo Gone. You can just use acetone, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if it'll work. Cause that one's just way too big. And I know I could put it in the side slots, but I'm being honest, I really don't want to. Yeah, so I mean, it'll work. You just gotta give it a little elbow grease. I'm just gonna let it sit with some acetone on it for a few minutes. Yeah, so this one, definitely not gonna close. Like I can, not even. Not even if I want to sit on it and zip it up like a, like a luggage. There is no, no way. So that sucks because now I don't know how I'm going to store it because that is not going to sit in my drawer well. <laughs> I might have to just order another one. I don't know, you guys. The struggle is so real. Okay. So they would have fit perfectly in my drawer if they were able to stack. I'll just swing my camera over here and show you what I'm talking about. So right here, right? So these are just pigments um, that I have. But if I could just stack both the books here, right? That would have been just perfect. But as you can see, that ain't gonna work for this bad boy. So I might order another one, but then I don't know, even if I stacked three of them, it'll still be too high. I have to think on it. I need to get the rest of that goop off of this <laughs> stamping plate. Me and my bright ideas. Let's see if I scrape it off. 
Oh yeah. It scrapes off pretty easily once the acetone just sits on it. It's fairly simple. Fairly simple. I swear acetone <laughs> acetone takes off anything. Do a little bit more and give it a good wipe and get the remainder off of there. So that wasn't so bad, honestly. If I had to do that to all of them, not a big deal. Not all of them. <laughs> Let me rephrase. If I had to do that to the ones that have that backing on them. So I purchased totally doable. Um, quite a few of these cases. How many do I have? Six, I think. Yeah. And I don't even remember how they open up or what end they open up. Oh, yeah, good job, Jen. Had them upside down. So the reason that I purchased these was because I currently have my rhinestones in these containers from Michael's, which I love. But I have so many glitter, and these are a lot smaller, so I figured they would take up more space. And I don't um, keep a huge amount of rhinestones. Like, I mean, I have several containers, but it's not like they're full to the brim. So these smaller ones, I figured were, you know, definitely big enough for what I need. So I am going to just put on some tunes here for you guys. Basically, while I... Organize my rhinestones.
right guys, so I am finally done <laughs> with the kind of rhinestones and embellishments. So I ended up having four empty containers for glitter, which is good because I have so much glitter to organize. That is another video for another day. I have probably been saying I'm going to film that one for a year now. <laughs> And I just keep putting it off because it's going to be another long one. I think that one is going to take me all day. So um, I have six of these full. So basically I've got one here that has all of my kind of just things that I don't generally reach for. Um, you know, they're kind of bigger, chunkier embellishments. I do have my Fruit Fimo in here though, which I do use on clients. The other things are probably more so for like practicing or um, like fun tutorials or competitions or stuff like that. Nothing that I would generally use on clients. Um, this one has most of my little studs and sort of gold and metal little um, embellishments. So I've got some rose gold and stuff. These are crystal pixies, 3D things, um, bigger rhinestones. So I was able to get everything in there. And these are um, my um, caviar beads and also my non Swarovski. Um, they fit nicely, everything in here. And then the rest are Swarovski, um, except for these neon ones. These neon ones are from Glitter Mix Canada. I just put them in here because they're all colored. But the rest, these ones are all my colored Swarovski. And then I have mostly um, like my gold, rose golds, um, Aurora Borealis, clear. And then at the top, I have some other ones, but these are all Swarovski. And then I do have some extras and some things that I have not. So these flowers will actually end up going into, um, I have a bunch of packs of flowers that I purchased off eBay that will go into a haul video. So I will just put those in there with those. And I think I'm going to try to order a couple of more. I know I said I wasn't going to order anything, but I would like to ideally put all of my, I have all of this gold metal leaf stuff. And then I have this gold one, this silver one, and also this red and gold and blue and gold. So I would like to get another container for that at least. And I thought I'll get two. That way I have an extra one on hand if I need or want to organize something else. So like I could put all the flowers in there, for example. Um, yeah. So next, um, that took a lot longer and I am totally going to have to sweep. Um, working with the Swarovskis and the crystals was fine. It was working with any of the like caviar beads or any of the pearls or anything that were plastic. They were so staticky. They were just like flinging everywhere. My floor is covered. I'm going to have to bring my little vacuum up here and vacuum um, because sweeping is not going to work. So yeah, I'm going to now work on organizing my decals and then I'm going to decorate my front porch and that will be it for this video. Like, oh no. And then I want to make something to eat. That's right. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys, so I don't know if you can see, but over here, um, in this drawer is where I used to have them. So I had sort of the weird random ones in the back here. If you can see, there's a slot back here. And then I had all my other ones stacked here. Um, there was two in the back and two in the front. These are so much smaller, you guys. They are going to take up significantly less room. So I will put this one back behind here because it does fit well. And then the rest of them, I will just put, I mean, won't fit that way. Oh, perfect. Like, look at how much more room I have to grow. I could actually stack four on top of each other, but I just got them three by three for now. And then maybe what I can do is put my decal books in here Ooh, until I get more of those containers or whatever. So um, let's get to the decals. All right, guys. So right now I have all of my decals, well, the majority of my decals, in this binder here um, and it just sits in one of my storage bins in my Ikea um, cube container so as you see I have tons here that need to be put away actually I need to go across the room um, because I have a ton there that also need to be put away let me go grab those okay so here is also another stack of um, decals and things that need to be put away 
So let me first open these up because I actually haven't even opened them. First of all, let me show you the two of them. They're perfect um, colors, perfect colors for my nail room. So I would definitely order these again. I don't remember how much they were, but I will link everything below for you guys. Let us open up and see. So the thing that I like about this is I think that even if it gets pretty thick, there's quite a bit of room for it to get thick and still be able to close it. So let's hope that what happened with my um, stamping plates, that it doesn't happen with this as well. So yeah, these slots are quite small. So we're going to have to definitely be doing some cutting here to get them in. So, um, okay. Let's start with flowers. Okay, so I am going to take these all out of here first. Um, I'm just going to separate them um, into like the black and white plasticky ones that I, I haven't used these for a long time, but they were cool when I used them, these black and white ones. And I'm going to make sure that if anything is a bigger piece um, because those ones I don't know how well they will fit and how I'm going to MacGyver that up. Some of them as you can see I've already used. This one has not been used. It's not out of its thing so I'm going to take that out of there. And then I've just got more of these and I don't know if they'll fit or I'll have to take them out of the plastic. Let's just see. Yeah they'll have to come come out so I'll just have to take them out of here. Okay guys, so this book is full. So as you can see, I had some doubles of those first ones. You guys, these decals, I am telling you, I, I will try to link them below for you guys because they are so nice. They are super thin. They lay down so nicely and the images are so pretty. Like they're so detailed. It's worth it to get like a dollar and you get how many of them. It's so worth it. Like look at the sea stuff here or like these um, lavender type. You guys, they're so pretty. These are very vintage, super, super nice. Um, these ones, all of these ones that have like the A, to, A, the A before them, they're okay. Like there's some nice roses and stuff, but they're definitely not as pretty. Um, like they're still nice, but like this one, I don't find that pretty at all. These ones are nice. Like there's some, yeah, there is some nice ones, but the other ones, I don't know. There's just something about those other ones that I adore. Um, yeah, so this book is pretty much full. So definitely I'm going to have to be buying more of these because I haven't even finished putting all of my floral decals yet. So I'm going to have to get some more books. <laughs> definitely going to have to order some more, but I really like, um, you know, it's, it closes nicely. It still closes really well. I love the colors. So I'm just going to continue on filling up this one here with all of my floral decals. And then um, it looks like I'm going to be shopping because I'm going to have to buy some more <laughs> stuff. So like I said, with these ones here, I am going to have to cut them. So I'm just going to attempt to cut down the center of them. Um, like this one, I kind of have to a little wonkily cut it. Um, and I'll just put them in like that.
Now the only thing that I don't love about cutting them is when I display my decals in my display rack, obviously you guys have seen, I like to clamp them together like this and it's just really convenient when they're obviously not in pieces like this. Um, but what I could potentially do is maybe just put these in the display rack instead um, so that, yeah, so that I just have all of, but then I would have to have each individual book, again, like a separate book for Christmas, um, a separate book for, I don't know, like I could essentially do a seasonal book maybe, a couple of seasonal books, I don't know, but um, yeah. So that's it for the floral ones. So for now, this is all I'm going to do with these decals. I still have quite a few to organize, um, but these ones will stay for now and I am just gonna throw them in that drawer over here. Um, for now, I'm going to just, not this one, excuse me, this one, because I believe they will sit nicely. Yeah, perfect. So I'm just gonna shove them there. So that's usually kind of how I do my front porch um, throughout summer and spring. I don't really change it over the summer. I'm just going to get this cart out of the way. Pretty much what I have here now will stay until fall. <laughs> and then in fall I do switch it out. The wreath actually stays the same throughout spring, summer and fall. Um, I made that wreath and I don't bother to change it. It stays through the whole seasons. And then I have a Christmas one. But yeah, that's my little front porch. This is the area that I'm talking about where I'm going to redo my flower bed. You can see how disgusting it is. Like, I don't know who did this, but when they put the cement, they didn't even smoothen it out. They literally just slopped it on there. It's so nasty. It's falling apart. So I have this thing here. I don't know what it's called, but I'm actually going to spray paint it um, white primer and then spray paint it pink to match those little bicycle things. I have like a chalk paint and then I'm going to edge this with my Cindercrete blocks, which I bought paint that's sort of a taupey brownie kind of gray color. And sorry, that's, I live on a, I live near a very busy road. Um, so as you can see, a lot of tulips and stuff are starting to come up already. So I need to get in there and clean that out. Um, I was gonna paint my Cindercrete blocks, but you guys, like I just wanna relax. <laughs> I feel like I have just been going, 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 and I still have so many things in my home to do. I have to do laundry, I have to do my meal prep, I have to get ready for the week. Okay guys, so I'm about head. to make my little cucumber rolls. If you can hear sound, it's because my I had to turn my heat on. It actually was kind of cold in my house. So I just turned my heat on. So I, you can put whatever you want in these. I have some um, old fashioned ham, I believe it's called. Yes, old fashioned ham. I have Swiss cheese, I love Swiss cheese. I have some mayo that I made myself. Um, there are black flecks in it because I put a little bit of black pepper in it. I also have this artichoke and Asiago dip. Now technically, this is not keto because it does have, I believe, canola oil in it. I'm sure there's, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's, oh, here we go. Yeah, canola oil. So generally, when you're doing real keto, like, I don't mean what people call dirty keto or fake keto, I don't know, whatever. If you're doing keto, you are not supposed to have canola oil. Yesterday when I came home, um, when I went to the grocery store, I was so hungry. I think it was six o'clock and I hadn't eaten anything. So I grabbed this and some pork rinds and I came home and I devoured like a whole bag of pork rinds. <laughs> So I'm gonna put a little bit of this also in it. Um, I might not even use the mayo, I might just use this, I'm not sure. And then I've got some spring mix. This is my absolute favorite spring mix if you have a superstore where you are. Um, I am not a fan of beet leaves and there are no beet leaves in this spring mix. Every other spring mix that I have tried has beet leaves in it and I do not love them, which is weird because I absolutely love beets. I just don't love beet leaves. And then I've just got some, um, 
um, large stuffed olives. I'm not gonna put them in the roll up. I'm just going to eat them on the side. And then I forgot, but you need just some toothpicks. That is finally it. I still have lots to do as usual, but that is it for today. I'm going to eat my snack uh, or lunch. I'm going to still, I still have to do my bedding. I am going to throw a load of laundry in. I'm not going to paint. I am wearing my painting pants because I got ready this morning thinking I was going to paint those cindercrete blocks, but it's kind of cool outside. So I really don't want to paint them. Uh, and I really don't feel like it right now. Anyways, it's not a rush. I don't have to do it right away. Um, so maybe next weekend I'm thinking I'll paint them and maybe the weekend after, um, just so that they have time to harden and everything like that the paint has time to dry um, maybe I will do the front um, flower bed the weekend after I'm not sure but regardless of that I hope that you enjoyed this video if you stuck with me through all of it and all the way to the end I appreciate it if you guys have any keto lunches or snacks that you guys really like, please share them with me because I'm always wanting to try something new. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, please share it with someone else. And as always, have an amazing day.